Virgos, welcome. This is the Empress, and I'm here today to do you guys' February 2019 general readings in regards to love, okay? So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe, guys. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, okay? So if this message doesn't resonate with you, don't forget to check your other signs, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? All right, so let's take a look. We're going to see what's... Okay. We're going to see what's coming in for... Um, we're going to see what's coming in for February. You guys have jumpers, all right? So let's see. What other messages do we have for Virgos? What message do you have for Virgos? Sun, moon, rising, Virgo. February, February 2019. What message do you have for Virgo? All right. Okay, guys. All right. So past energy, guys, we have trust. Present energy, we have reconciliation. And for future energy, we have deception. All right, guys, let's take a look. This is this is very, very deep here. All right. We already have jumpers. Spirit is so ready to, to put the storyline out. All right, so what messages do we have for Virgos? What message do we have for Virgos? Sun, moon, and rising Virgos, please. Sun, moon, and rising Virgos, please. What messages do we have for Virgos? Okay. Let's give me clarifiers. All right. Off the muscle, Virgos. You guys aren't trusting this person. This person has deceived you. Okay. Um, definitely. This person has deceived you. And you could be disappointed. Okay. This has left you feeling really, really disappointed. Um, there could have been a fire sign involved, or there's could have possibly been a third party involved here with this queen of wands. This energy is really like, she's like the part, the party girl. Okay. Um, and I feel as if this could possibly, some of you guys could possibly be married or, um, this is involving something in regards to, um, home life. But I feel like presently guys, someone from the past is returned. Okay. Someone from the past has returned. We got reconciliation here, okay? So I feel like there's someone that you're holding on to, okay? It could be, uh, we got the Empress card here. It could be like, a, a, um, it could be for, for the males. It could be a baby mother. We got this Empress card here. Someone could find out that someone is pregnant. Um, I'm sensing that, there's something here about give and take in a partnership. There's some type of mutual agreement or mutual understanding here. Someone is trying to keep some type of agreement or mutual understanding. It could possibly have something to do with someone from the past. Okay, so going into the near future, guys, I'm sorry. But look, this is someone who is deceptive. You're dealing with someone who is very deceptive, who is not being honest. There's a lot of deception here. Someone definitely has a lot of options. Okay, and I feel like there's going to be regrets here. And there's it's causing you guys to be have a lot of uncertainty, okay, here with this two of swords, but there's lots of regrets here. I feel like if this is someone that you're dealing with from the past, be careful. Um, because there's lots of deception here, okay? Either this is you doing this to someone or someone that someone is doing this to you because the energy can go vice versa. But there's definitely someone is holding on to something. And there's something about give and take here in a partnership. Someone from the past. I feel like someone, you're disappointed because this person can't be trusted. You can't trust this person. Um, and they're deceiving you. It's, it's like you're going to find out that they're wearing a false mask. There, someone has a lot, lots and lots of options, okay? Someone has lots of options. Um, and, and I feel like it's just causing uncertainty, and it's going to cause someone to here to have regrets. So be careful, okay? Be careful with that. This is someone who is very deceptive. All right, so what additional messages do we have for Virgos? What additional messages do you have for my Virgos? What additional messages here? What additional messages do you have here for my Virgos? Sun, moon, rising Virgos for the month of February. What additional messages do you have for my Virgos? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, let's see. What additional messages do we have for my Virgos?
There could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved. Someone is making fun of something here. Possibly about what someone said here with this Queen of Swords. But I feel like here with this Sun card and this Queen of Swords energy, someone is gaining some type of clarity here. Someone gaining some type of clarity. Okay. Some of you guys are waiting for a commitment. Some of you guys are waiting for a commitment. Yeah. Oh, someone here is pregnant. Someone here is pregnant. We got the Ace of Wands and the Empress card, the Three of Pentacles. Someone here could possibly be pregnant. And I feel like someone is waiting for, someone here is waiting for a commitment or waiting for someone to do the right thing. Maybe this could be the third child here with this Three of Pentacles. I feel like going the past energy, guys, we have the Queen of Wands. Here she is again. Okay. Um, someone was giving some was giving someone permission to come back or giving them signs or signals of them wanting to come back. But someone here was stuck. Someone here was stuck. Someone was afraid to go back. Someone gave them the okay. Someone gave them something to feel as if it was okay for them to come back. Okay, so in your desires, guys, we have the four of pentacles. Um, I feel like some of you guys are holding on to something. Maybe some of you guys are trying to keep the peace. It's what I'm getting with the four of pentacles and this, this, um, temperance card. So you're going to wait before you try something because you're cautious. I feel like some of you guys are being cautious here. Um, going into the near future, guys, I'm definitely sensing stability and home life. Um, someone here, like I said, is possibly... Um, this is in regards to home life. This could be possibly in regards to stability or marriage. Okay, so someone is thinking of someone is thinking about their own happiness here. Someone is thinking about their own happiness and their own stability. I'm I'm very curious here to find out why this uh, hierophant card is here. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but some of you guys um, are are being patient here about something. Okay, you're waiting for someone to do the right thing. Here, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups. Two sevens here. Okay, so some of you guys are being patient, and that's because you guys, someone has options here. Someone has some options here. Someone has some options here. Someone needs has a someone's being patient. You guys are being patient because there's a decision that needs to be made here. Why is the seven of cups here? You guys got cards flying everywhere. <laughs> We got this devil card, okay? Someone has possibly has multiple sex partners. Um, someone is possibly even codependent. I'm feeling like someone is planning on being taking something from someone as well here with the seven of swords. Someone is planning on being sneaky. And I'm I'm just getting it. There's some some real funny energy going on here. This could be you guys doing this to someone, or this is someone doing this to you. But I do feel like some of you guys are focused on going into the near future, are going to be more focused on stability and home life, okay? Some of you guys are trying to take a break, even as well, take a break here, or some of you guys are really, really meditating and trying to take a break and find your own happiness. Um, I definitely do feel someone has some options. Someone's trying to weigh, weigh their options out. Someone is um, trying to do the right thing here. Someone is definitely could be pregnant here. This Ace of Wands is this Empress card is someone being pregnant or someone giving birth. Okay. And, or this could be for, because everyone isn't pregnant, but there could be um, a new start. Okay. You, some of you guys are trying to do the right thing and weigh out your options because you're, you're wanting to um, have a fresh new beginning. You're wanting a new start. 
That could also be what this Ace of Wands, this Empress card is, but definitely some, some guys are going to find out that they're pregnant. Some of you guys are wanting a fresh new start here. Some of you guys are wanting to build another foundation, build up the foundation here. Okay. Like I said, in the past, some of you guys were definitely um, afraid to go back to a situation. Um, and you're deciding to, your thoughts is to keep the peace in a situation. So you're going to be waiting, but waiting before you put in effort, before you try to try something out. Um, but like I said, going into the near future, we've got the four of wands, two of cups. This is a stable union. This is a possibly even a marriage. Um, this is coming together to build something stable. Some of you guys could be decided to take some time off to find your own happiness and your own peace. Okay. All right, Virgos. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me for the month of February, guys. There's so much more to come. And I want to thank you guys again. My mama. Peace and love, light energy to you all. I will be back, guys, within the next week. I have lots and lots of spreads and lots of things that I'm working on in regards to this channel, guys. I want to thank you guys again. Ciao for now.